And so what happened was their fun was more of an exercise of creating more of their hobby. But that's different from having fun exercising your professional craft. Those are two different worlds. Ain't nothing but the real thing. Justina Lee Black. Justina Lee Black. And Justina, how long have you been playing music for? Oh, gosh, as long as I can remember. Um, kind of was a closet player until my 30s. Um, I had my kids in my 20s. There was this guy in high school that was a um, prodigy. And he was in one of those long haired 70s bands. So I reached out to him one day and I says, hey, I got this music in my head. I know you're amazing at songwriting. Let me see what you could do with it. Came to his house, put the recording on, sang it a cappella, called me the next day, he says, your song's done. And I was like, huh? And it was amazing. And he quit his rock band to work with me. So we were together for uh, about eight years. We wrote countless songs. Wait, this, but hold, on, hold on real quick before before we get the story. Hold on. Just just for me to catch up. Um, did you say how, and how old were you when this is happening? Uh, I was in my mid thirties. Gotcha. So you, you know? had your kids already and mm -hmm. then you met this guy and you were like, here's, I kind of sing thing. And then he was like, I'm leaving my band and I'm going to be your bandmate for the next eight years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what I'm just, I'm catching yeah, it, it all. Pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know what I was getting into, but, um, but um, I was the type of writer where I could, I could write, you know, a three or four chord song okay. and he would make it into a symphony. And, and how many people would come like on a regular show? How many people would come to one of your shows I on have average? A, a good fan base in the Detroit area. Um, average was somewhere between 25 and 50 if it was okay. a bigger venue. Okay. And then I moved out to Las Vegas All right. um, because the recession had hit here in 2006 and eight. And I met up with a guy named Michael Wild, and he was a songwriter from Detroit. He lived in Vegas. So we were called Black and Wild. So we went out together in the local Las Vegas scene and he loved my original music and he did a different twist on it than Benny Crusoe did, but that was cool. I was okay with that. Then I ended up leaving my kid's dad because he didn't like that I was a musician and had all this attention. I mean, it really created a lot of havoc, but it was more than that. That was like the tipping point. And then a year later, I met my new husband who I've been with now for, um, 18 years and he's super supportive he bought me you know a, a rolling keyboard a couple of guitars and you know i was like go 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 mm -hmm. so at that point i decided to just dip into the songwriting let's you hop know? in then where now i can help you now that at least i have a little backstory of what you've been working on and what you what you're passionate about let me know how i can help you today well more than anything, um, I know that um, sync is really the way to go. And I, I, I love what I'm hearing and the people that are having really great success. My biggest downfall is I'm <clears throat> not a producer, so I have to count on somebody else to yeah. produce. Um, I think I'm getting better at, you know, I, I'm a really great co-producer because I have a good ear and I know, you know, what I think works and doesn't work, especially working with Ben Crusoe for all those years. That's, um, that's the biggest problem I have. I have a lot going on as far as songwriting that um, needs to either be finished because it's sitting on something old on the shelf and these new ideas coming all the time that I'm, I'm putting into my journal. Well, what I mean is like, if you had to select, the re reason why I'm asking you is, are you are you passionate about it to where you want to learn it or you're just- Well, yeah, just I want to be able to be a self-producer because I don't have to count okay. on anybody else. Okay. Like this guy in California, it's time change when he's not working, of course. you know, all this back and forth. And so there's, yeah, there's challenges with that. Okay. So the I would absolutely say yes for, for what I have going on, I finally got the studio. It's been shut down for a couple of years because we got hit by a hurricane here. Got it up and running. I'm, I'm very familiar. I, um, I work with studio. Um, it's, it's, it's not Studio One, but it's a takeoff of that. So it's part of that program. Okay. And um, okay, here. Let me, I got let me, it. I got that much down. Let me pause you for a second. Okay. okay. If you're looking to to learn production because of AI, it's probably the easiest time in history 
wow. to learn how to produce. Okay. So I can I can only tell you what I would I'm do if I was in your shoes. Peace with it now, do you? <laughs> well, good because I can only tell you uh, I can't be in your shoes, but I can only tell you that if I wanted to accomplish a certain goal, I understand the mindset in order to get that thing done, especially something that could be very daunting like production, since it's such a a big field. But now that field has gotten much smaller because of AI. And like I have a female uh, artist and songwriter who I'm a mentor to. Just last week, she was invited into a sync camp because she's been working in, in sync world. But she was asked to be the producer for the first time last week. And she oh, sent wow. me a text and she's like, Adam, this is amazing. I'm not only a songwriter, I'm not only the artist, but I'm also a producer now in the camps. Wow. It's because she's been practicing. She's in our club. She's been mentored. She's been working at it. But it's the first time now she's in a professional camp doing that. And I think with especially with just being, you know, diligent and, and setting up your own process in a year's time, you could be doing full tracks with with. That's how amazing AI is right now. In a year's time, if you just stick with it, you could be doing full tracks on your own from home. That'd be awesome. So that's, you know, that's in your, in your own time and everything, but I would okay, definitely you. recommend it because you're, you're always going to run into the things you talked about. This, this thing is never going to stop. The, whenever you wait on other people, especially more and more importantly, other people who are not currently in the game, who are working at that same level, you will always have to wait for them. You'll always have to say, oh, well, the mix or the production or, you know, maybe it's a little dated or it, it's always going to happen. I hear it all the time. So the yeah. only way to change that is for you to put yourself around people who are active who are high quality, who are in the business, who are like focusing on this. And then just from doing that alone, just from that alone, you'll make a friendship circle of a network of people who are actually doing the thing you want to talk about. So they'll give you opportunities because they're getting opportunities. That's a very important place to be around. But then also you can work with getting knowledge from people on how do I do this? And they'll tell you in a second, oh, this is how you make that kick drum sound like that. And you're not waiting for information. But then also you're having fun. And I think it's so important to have fun while you're creating. Absolutely. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about fun. I'll say this and then <laughs> any the question. All right. There can be this feeling that people get where they get so excited. Oh, I had so much fun. And then they play me the song they worked on. And I go, okay, that's cool. It's cool. And so what happened was their fun was more of an exercise of creating more of their hobby. But that's different from having fun exercising your professional craft. Those are two different worlds. And what sometimes happens is people get lost having fun doing their hobby. And so it always sounds like a hobbyist job, right? So I am by no means an architect, no means an architect. If I went out there to build a shed or something and I just did it on my own with no tutelage, no heavy details, it's gonna come out looking like I did it for a hobby. It might be good, but I'm not building a mansion. <laughs> Right. So I could tell my friends, look at the shed I built. And they'd be like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, I did it on a Sunday with a few friends. Great. But I didn't build the mansion. And I can't build the mansion because I don't know how to do it. If I want to, I have to become an architect or learn from other architects, get serious about contracting, figure out what all the things actually do. Like, how do I how do I make the concrete? How do I make this? I have to learn those things. I feel like what's happening in this music world right now, especially in the sync marketing, is that people are voicing that anyone can do this thing. Anyone can do it. And they said, not, it's just not true. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. And it's unfortunate because there'll be thousands of people who believe this idea, but yet no one's saying, are your tracks and all your songs consistently competitive and sound like they're the same quality of the radio? Because if they're not, you're not going to have an industry that will come to you. You might have a hobby that you keep paying to, but you won't have an industry that meets you and then wants to pay you. Yeah. That's different. Okay. Thank you for that. You gave me a little bit of peace in, in the way AI is, is going. Yeah. As an assistant. Yeah. Still being present in, in your decisions and pulling. I'm, I'm noticing that with this book, pulling what I like out and, and moving things around. It's like shopping. Like That's that. <laughs> it's like shopping. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna sit there and go, I like that melody. I don't like that melody. Thank you. And then you'll you'll work on that. Okay. 
Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time and expertise. That's very informative. Okay, yeah, it means a lot to me. My pleasure, Justine. Have a good day. You Bye. too. Bye.